Well, hello. It's another episode of the Pantry Party Show with your host, at DJ Blattner. Hey, it's Cinco de Mayo. Hey, and happy Taco Tuesday. We have just the show for you today. We have at Cookin' RD joining us to talk all things tacos. Are you ready to get this party started? The Pantry Party Show is about to start right now. Hey, everybody. How exciting. Uh, it is Cinco de Mayo. It is Happy Taco Tuesday. And uh, we could not have a more perfect guest today. Uh, we have at Cooking RD, and uh, she is the author of a book called, wait for it, wait for it, Taco, Taco, Taco. So what I've decided to do is wear my striped jumper and my electric rod earrings all in celebration of the taco. And yes, please use your emojis as much as you'd like today. A taco emoji anytime during this IG Live is welcome and recommended. Okay, so let's get at Cooking RD in here right away and start talking about tacos. And thanks for all the hearts too, you guys. I love it. All right, get her ready for a warm pantry party welcome. Ready, ready, everybody? <laughs> ah. Hi, guys. Hi. Good to see you. So I was clearly like trying to do this and I was on top. So I'm gonna have to do it like this. Oh, you, you know what? Wow, I don't lean mind into it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, do you, we have a guest on the side? Did I hear a voice? Oh, that's my little sous chef. She's been instructed to kennel lay low. Hey, we need a pop up. We need a pop in. This is an immediate. We need a guest pop in. Well, she will probably chime in with her uh, her tips on taco <laughs> making. She's pretty. She's pretty much a pro. Meat tacos are probably hey, what's the best her name? taco you could ever have. All right, but you gotta be quiet. Man. I, know. I gotta hear Dawn. She looks fabulous. Well, I'm what's turning What's her up name? Dawn. Emily. Oh, Emily, girl, you're going to have to get in on this party. It's a passion party show, girl. She needs her own show, really. I mean, she's I really that. the show. Uh, Rock Girl has pointed out she enjoys my outfit because I did wear it in honor of you. I love your outfit. In fact, <laughs> I didn't like, put real clothes on today for you, Dawn. Nice. I thank you for that. Well, so, yeah. okay, here's the scoop. At yeah. Cooking RD is your handle. Right. You are both a registered dietitian nutritionist and a chef. What's the story with that? What came first, the chicken or the egg? Ah. Well, I became a dietitian first. And then uh, I love being a dietitian, but I really love food. And I come from a foodie family. So I just decided I was kind of tired of telling people what they couldn't eat. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to learn how to cook so that we can eat delicious food and show people that, you know, nutritious food can be really super delicious. So then I went to culinary school so I could spend a lot of money. And... Uh, <laughs> And then not make a lot of money. No, just kidding. But then I could show people how, you know, the simple tricks of, of cooking can really make nourishing food taste pretty good. Now, did you know uh, or like cooking before you enrolled in culinary school? Like, did you know, like, some basics? Or did culinary school really school you on everything? Oh, I love that. Uh, I learned a lot. So I'm from oh. Indiana originally. And not Who's that that your, matters. Who's your mama? <laughs> um, and... I didn't learn, my mom, I love her, bless her, but she didn't teach me anything about cooking and she knows it. So she, she's, she'll own it too. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't know a whole lot. I mean, I remember when I first met my husband, we thought it was super cool to go to the grocery store and buy like the frozen shredded pork and pop that in the microwave. And then we put tater tots in the oven and we called that like a, a legit meal. Yeah. So I mean, been there, been there girl. Been yeah. There. So, so that's good. Uh, yay fellow Hoosier. Somebody said, uh, the rock girl. Um, so that's interesting, though, that you, I mean, so you didn't have this, like, huge background of cooking. You just knew you no. liked being a dietitian, but really wanted to focus more on the actual positive. So yeah. that's where the, the chefing came in. And yeah. you actually have a handle that's at Cookin RD. So it's like, uh, you, if you got both of those things. It's a little tongue-in-cheek right here. I love I, it. Uh, yeah, I, you I, are tongue-in-cheek, always. Hey, oh. listen to this. Uh, you have a book, which is perfect for celebrating Taco Tuesday, uh, that falls on Cinco de Mayo. There it is. Look at that beautiful. Put it up close. We want to see that beauty. I have to make taco, sure I taco, taco, taco. <laughs> There's remember... only 50 of them. Wait, what did she say? <laughs> I'm like, I have a big box of them, so if you guys oh. want me to do, like, a delivery to you. Oh, yeah, thank you. If you're in Chicago. <laughs> um, hey, listen, 
I remember when you had that book come out and I thought to myself, darn it, is that a fun book? Aww. I mean, that is, I mean, not only is it taco, 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 it's taco exclamation, taco exclamation, taco exclamation. Did you come up with this idea? Like, had you always loved tacos? Like, where mm -hmm. did the inspiration for taco, taco, taco come? Uh, so basically the first, the first book I wrote was the Fertility Foods Cookbook with Liz Shaw, also a dietitian. And so I just, I mean, that's, that's not, I wouldn't call it a heavy book, but it's definitely more, you know, it's a heavier topic. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? My whole life I've loved tacos, always and forever. My dad was a huge taco fan. Yeah. And pizza. Yeah, you get a disco ball for that. You know, always a taco lover. Yeah. I'm the worst dancer, by the way. Like, I, I don't know. It's just awkward to watch move. me dance. That was a pretty good move. That she did on the okay. shows. I know, the YouTube dance. Don't worry about it. And how come she never comes in? Is she not allowed on camera? You know, she's, she's in first grade, so I'm sort of waiting till she makes the choice to do it. As a parent, I'm super... I'm like one of those crazy helicopter parents. So I let her voice be on and her hands, but I never. Okay. I was just wondering what the secret was. I like it. She's a secret. And you know what? There's nothing better than that. I feel like. And right? And when the big reveal comes, it'll be even more special. <laughs> you guys are going to be flown away. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Sorry to interrupt. I just heard the voice That's from right. afar. And I was I, like, I know. where's she at? I don't like um, interrupting you guys in your show. She's apologizing for interrupting. Oh, you know she what? Good Your policy, I'll accept it. I'll actually okay. accept it. Thank she you. She accepts it. Uh, thank you. I do like to do that move. Thank you. Thank um, you. All right. I interrupted you, as did Emily, on That's telling okay. us about you've always loved tacos. So after yeah. a book on fertility, which, you know, is <laughs> is a different book than a taco, taco, taco book. Um, so what did you do? You pitched this idea. You had it. Yeah. Like, the yeah, so that's where, I was, that's where I was going with the story is that okay. essentially I thought, what is a great way to show people how to combine kind of culinary cooking stuff, nutrition, but make it super approachable? Like everybody I'm sure out there would raise their hand and say they like tacos. I've actually never met a single person ever tell me that they don't like tacos. So, I mean, to me, that is like an instant door into like everybody's world. We all have to eat. We all like tacos. We all, I think in our hearts, want to kind of nourish our bodies in the way that makes us feel good. So I figured, you know, it's a fun platform, it's approachable, and, you know, I'll just throw a few things in there, get people to kind of expand their minds in terms of, like, what a taco could be, and what you could fill it with, and that literally you can fill it with anything. So that's kind of what the book's all about. If there's no rule, there are recipes in there, but they're just, like, my suggestions. You know, I love it when people take my recipe and they do something else with it. I'm like, cool, that does not offend me, it makes me happy. Uh, so I guess that's kind of what it's at, you know, where I, why I came up with it. It's just sort of like an approachable resource, people cooking and enjoying it's, nourishing food. It's great. Here's, <laughs> here's the truth. I mean, this is the hashtag truth bomb right here. Everybody loves tacos. That is a combining, I, you know, I, yes, I kind of know that, but I've never really heard anyone stand on their soapbox platform and be like, everybody loves tacos and I'm here <laughs> to serve you. Um, you know what the other thing that I will say in quarantine and with you know the grocery stores stocking some things and not stocking some things yeah. still having that sort of loosey goosey uh, attitude of like you know here's a taco recipe but do what you can people do what you can especially right now I think yeah. that's good but I also think it's a good attitude and I appreciate that of you in, in cooking because a lot of times I do feel like cooking can be kind of stuffy and yes. righteous. And, and it's yeah. like, no, be loose about it, kids. Be loose, be loose. Totally. I mean, I think that's what I think makes, a, I mean, I think anybody can cook. I really do. And I think it doesn't even have to involve a lot of cooking. In fact, what I'm going to show you today is just like literally raiding your fridge and pantry for what you got and then putting it in a taco. Like I'm all about approachable. I'm all about making it realistic because we're all different. We're all living in different situations. You know, some of us have kids, some of us have jobs where we're having to leave the house. I mean, it's crazy. So don't make eating crazy. It should be enjoyable still. It should be something that brings you joy, you know, as far um, as I'm concerned. Hashtag joy hustle. Hashtag <laughs> joy. joy always delivers. <laughs> hashtag joy is my compass. Hashtag joy. I love it. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Listen up to this. I just had this question pop in my mind because I am just a host that channels from above. What the heck is the definition of a taco? Like, what does it really take 
to be called a taco, right? I think I use that term pretty loosely in my book sometimes because I think I have, well, I know I have an apple pie taco and it's <gasps> definitely not um, a tortilla. I use like puff pastry in a muffin. I keep doing this. Like you, I don't mind this it. is the I symbol of what I'm trying to explain to you. <laughs> it's, it's a Come on, Don. Hey, everybody, is as this... you're watching, this is a universal sign of like you're eating a taco. So this is a cup. Yes, I'm watching. It's like, I love the taco. I'm doing yes. it for the rest of the show. I think so my head cramps up. Walk around. Do you like this, John? Do you like I this love it. Oh, God. Okay, so definition of a taco is loose, in your opinion. I think so. I mean, I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I, I, I would consider a taco anything where you've kind of got a base. That could be anything, too, as far as I'm concerned. A tortilla, or maybe it's... Um, like I said, like I use a puff pastry in one of my recipes. So, I mean, I think anything's got a base and some stuff on top of it, as far as I'm concerned. But that's like my American Midwest girl. I like it. Because now, I'm, uh, like at some point, I'm like, is there a pizza taco in, in your book? Yes. Because of that's like the best of both. <laughs> I'm a Chicago girl. And yes. there's like a pizza taco is right there. Have I you? love that. I, I, I know. Love that was mind blowing, actually, uh, in all seriousness, when you just like, you know, randomly just threw out of your mouth and were like, oh, and there's like an apple pie taco. Like, to me, that's like, like, I, to think about tacos in a sweet way, I felt like I was open minded about tacos, but even that is mind blowing. I feel like that is, <laughs> I feel like that's so great. Well, so, I mean, it is the Pantry Party Show. Do you want to show us a little bit of your. Uh, pantry or your kitchen setup and so, sort of talk us through what you want us to learn about taco, taco, taco today. Okay, well, do you want to see the recipe first or do you want to, I was going to show you my refrigerator because it's really yeah. close. Give she it to me. cleaned up her pantry. I did, I did. I cleaned Thank up my you, pantry. Thank you, Emily, for, and I like the, the show all behind the scenes. Uh, <laughs> you, never, you never know what's going to This is, this is good. Yeah. Take it's us fine. in, take us in. Show us, show us your ways. So do you want to see the taco or the refrigerator? Hey, Either. guess what? Anything okay. goes. Here, let's go. Hey, here's my giant face. Here we go. We're traveling. This okay. is my refrigerator. All right, here we go. It's a little scary. I didn't clean it, but. Good. We yeah. like real. Yeah, right. I'm 100% real. You'll never question. Okay. <laughs> so some of the things I did bring towards the front because I thought it might be helpful to see, but um, I love plain Greek yogurt. That's one of my like staples for sure. And then I also wanted to point out my tahini. Don, do you have tahini in your fridge? I do. I do. So and delicious. I have a bottle of it so that uh, mama can so squeeze it on nice. all the things. Now you're a genius. I love that. I know someone else likes pre-made hummus that you've already interviewed. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not on today, but she always gets thrown under the bus anytime anybody she, says hummus. Well, I'm here, like, like, I'm not, I'll get under the bus with her, but um, <laughs> I like it. I think it's got, when I don't have time to make my own, I for sure buy it. So it's all good in my book. Good. I also wanted to show you my sourdough starter. It's oh, like, come on there now. It is. Did you do a sourdough TikTok yet? Because I feel like everyone's what? making sourdough bread on TikTok. Yeah. No, I should probably do that. That's my refrigerator saying it's been open too long. So oh, stop yeah. it, lady. Too bad. So, and then in here, I've got all of my snack drawer oh, items. Clearly, I'm not skilled at this dawn of, I can't No, it's it. good. It's good. You know what's interesting, honestly, is like seeing a chef's and dietitian's <laughs> right. fridge, right? Like, it's interesting to see just like, you know, what's up? Yeah. I mean, I can oh. go in my pantry. Just It's so far away from the rest of my kitchen. Plus, I felt like you'd probably rather see my giant face on your screen. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel good about that. Now, those things that you showed me, like, when you're thinking about tacos, are you, do you, like, sort of go in your uh, fridge first and sort of use some of that as inspiration? Like, how do you decide what type of taco is going to be your taco of the day? Oh, I love that. So, usually it ends up with, I don't know what's for dinner, and it usually ends up, with, let's make it a taco. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I do what I just did. I go in my refrigerator, like you saw and I'll be like, oh, I've got some like roasted red peppers in a jar that they can only be open in the jar for a week, so I better use those. And then I think like, okay, what goes really well with roasted red peppers? Well, I love, um, like today I made uh, roasted chickpeas. I think they go with just about everything, so I probably would do that. And then I'd say, oh, I've got that Greek yogurt. I can turn it into a sauce because I've got some cilantro and some lime and some garlic. Like, and then I just sort of start to like, form it in my head. And usually it's just a matter of 
I either I've mapped out what I'm going to do and I've gone to the grocery store or I literally just look through my fridge and try to figure it out like a big giant fun puzzle. I, well, you know what? I, I'm a big fan of that, especially the pantry party show. I, I feel like the jumping off point being truly what is almost about to go bad in your house. Like, don't waste yeah. is on our minds, right? We, we yeah. don't go to the grocery stores often. We don't want to waste. So it's like, okay, what do I use first? Something you said I think is worth pointing out and making a little bit of a ta-da about it is, yes, when you open up canned things, they don't still last for eternity, right? So a lot of times I have people who open up plant milk, for example, yeah. and they open it, and yeah. then they look at the expiration date on the package, and they're like, oh, okay, you know, I have until, you know, July on this. <laughs> no, you don't. We Once don't. you open, the rules change. Once yes. you open a container, the rules change. The rules change, 100%. Yeah. I know, and I, I always tell people, as soon as you open whatever it is you open, write the date that you opened it on, I mean, all restaurants do that too. So, I mean, I think it's a really smart, and then put it towards the front. So it's not like lost in the back of your refrigerator where you're, then you find it like three months later and it has like this layer of who knows what on top of it, it's, right? You know what? It's the truth. And those are skills that I think we take for granted because in school, like in dietitian school, you learn first in, first out, bringing those right. older things to the front, right? right? We yeah. learn dating things once we open it. We learn that stuff like in school, but I feel like the school of life ain't teaching nobody this the safety stuff. I so know. I think a good, good pointer on that. So, and then the other thing too, as I was listening to you, do you have sort of a formula? It almost sounded like a little bit of a mm. formula, like a, a protein thing, a yeah. vegetable thing, and a sauce. <laughs> Is that like sort of you're in your such mind or not? A really? listener, Don, you're like a, you're like a magician. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> calls me a magician gets a disco ball hello <laughs> i do i do have a formula you're 100 right sometimes that formula changes a bit but it usually involves some kind of protein some kind of sauce and then some kind of vegetable so that's usually kind of what i try to do and once i get all those three components i feel pretty good about what's going on and the sauce doesn't have to be something you make although i think that can be super easy too it can just be salsa or yep. you know there's so many salsas I love it. So a taco, anatomy of a taco from <laughs> at Cook and RD. That's right. Uh, is some kind of tortilla esque, but maybe even not holder, a holder, holder. if you will. Uh, a vegetable, a protein could be plant or could be animal, and some mm -hmm. kind of sauce could be pre made, could be something you make. I love that anatomy of a taco. Here's the other question I have Do you, are you on a team? I am on a team. I'm mm -hmm. on a team of favorite uh holder flour corn i'm on a team i'm not gonna disclose right away do you, have, do you have a team or no you play even steven i'm even steven it depends on the filling what's inside for me oh yeah i like it okay so mm -hmm. usually i'm on team corn except for later on today i'm gonna be posting should i reveal it i'm gonna be posting an oat oat base uh, tortilla type wrap. When do I get um, to hear about that? So it's actually really, I mean, it's genius. Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, girl, you know what's going on. Nice. So anyway, I'm usually team corn, but now I might be team corn slash team oat. We'll see. We'll see Ooh. what everybody thinks of my recipe. So anyway, anyway, I digress. Love so we've it, got the anatomy of taco from at Cook and RD, author of Taco Taco Taco. Show us uh, some inspiration of what we can do with tacos, girl. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me whip out my. Luckily, I had some foresight, guys. I mean, okay. So, so, so let me tip you down a little bit, though, first, and that way you can kind of see what's going on down here. Enough of my, enough of my face, right? Um, um oh, okay. Great. Technology. Well, and I mean, you're used to doing this. You're used to doing Instagram lives because you are doing Instagram lives every Sunday, right? I am. Sundays with Sarah. Sometimes it works out. You know, I actually have my cameraman for that. So this is a whole new set of challenges for me. But, you know, I'm going to roll with it, Don. <laughs> I love it. Well, Sundays with Sarah usually is at, what, 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. Um, Central. Yes, it's, it's usually at 4 now. I change it to 4. It seems a little bit more approachable at that time of day. So, yeah, 4 o'clock every Sunday. Who knows what I'm up to? It's always. Sunday. I love that. That's great. <laughs> 
So as we were talking about proteins, these are roasted chickpeas. And I ser I mean, some people will probably roll their eyes. They're like, oh, okay, enough of these silly roasted chickpeas. Because, I mean, we talk about them until we're blue in the face. But I honestly think they're awesome because they, not, they, serve, they serve so many purposes in this taco. So not only are they acting as the protein, but they're also acting as something crunchy. And I think what makes tacos fun is, and eating fun is when you have a crunchy element. So I would say maybe that's also a part of my formula is this feels weird. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you know what's too funny? Fine. I wasn't gonna interrupt, but like when you're standing like that and it's my head, we look like a body. Like Wait, do you see? Like if you move your hands, it's amazing. I look like the head to your body. It's fabulous. I love it. You're so right. Look, I look like I'm holding my... This is like the most fun I've had in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Hey, I don't ever roast my own chickpeas. I'm always getting them at the store already roasted, like oh, to snack on. Yeah. What's your... Do you really feel like... Do you love them roasted on your own? Uh, yeah, here's what I'll tell you. So I actually make the beans from dry. And oh. then... Well, you know what? You could use... Uh, an instant pot if you have one or a slow cooker or I have a uh, pressure cooker or you can go old school soak them overnight I mean we're all home you know instead of making maybe bread maybe make some beans you know like switch it up a bit I and, love it okay. uh, they freeze really well right so you could freeze them once you make a giant batch of them I literally pulled these out an hour before this call and tossed them in olive oil salt and pepper 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes and that's it all I did. Okay, do you shake them or anything in between? Yep. Wait, let me let me think about this again. So if yep. I was gonna use canned chickpeas, just saying. Okay. Uh, I'm rinsing and draining them. I'm putting them, am I drying them at all? Or am I just putting them right on the pan? I would 100% dry them. That is okay. an excellent, yes. Okay, so I'm drying them and then toss them in a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, 425 for about 20 minutes and shake them in between a little bit or leave them? No, I would shake them about halfway between. Okay. And you can even do them, like, if you have a pan like this, this is a quarter, an eighth of a sheet pan, so it's pretty tiny, because uh, I have a little toaster oven, and so I cook them in there. Uh, but coat the bottom of it with oil, and then you don't have to worry about, it's really easy to clean this once you cook them, I guess what I'm trying to say. You can line it with foil, too. I'm trying not to waste stuff, so. Yes. Oh, so I like the, uh, um, a little oil on the bottom. Do you also yes. toss them with oil, or is that oil yes. at the bottom enough? Okay, yes. Cool. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Lots of, I put avocado, actually, I put avocado oil on these today, because. I'm a big fan. I like avocado. Yeah. Big Me fan. too. It's such a good neutral oil, and it's good for, you know, olive oil is great too, but this is more neutral in flavor, so it doesn't really. All right, so how do you store those? Because when I try and store them, mm. they get, like, chewy and weird. <laughs> yeah, I try not to roast any more than I'm going to eat, really. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. because it really doesn't take long, then I just don't want to – I agree. I don't think the texture is as good afterwards. So that's what's nice about freezing them and keeping them in your freezer. Then you just have them and you can pop them out when you want them. Oh, you mean cooked beans? Yes, sorry. <laughs> not, not those, not those. Not these, no. Oh, uh, okay, okay. No, so no, then no. Do you do anything crazy with the flavors or you usually keep it salt and pepper and then all your flavors come from sauces in other places? Yeah, well, so I've got that seven-year-old kid in my house. And oh, so it's a lot easier to add flavor after uh, than during. Probably for all of us. Actually, yeah. you know what? That's actually a good point for all of us. They be they stay more versatile yes. if you keep the flavor in the sauce, for example. Okay, fine. I like that. And you can add it after, too. In fact, sometimes I think what happens is people will season them with, like, spices and stuff early on, like, yeah. when, before you put them in the oven, and that might burn the spices a little bit. Yeah. That's and happened they, to me. This is why I'm like, eh, I don't just buy them already. <laughs> I'm not going to – because I do. I, like, I spice them up, and then I have them them burn, and then half of them are garbage chewy. I'm like, I'm no. Oh, Don. So this might be a good tip to the to the kids out there like me who uh, have had a little bit of a, a you know a difficulty if you will of making the roasted garbanzo beans. All right, so now that we have those done, what's up? What's our next step of this taco? Okay, so I thought I would show you. Here's my Greek yogurt. Okay, so I love making everything in my little uh, blender here thing. I've got a stick blender. I highly, I mean, I use this guy oh. all the time. He is my favorite. 
He's okay, my most so favorite. Like that's called an immersion blender. And Im yes. And um, here's the deal. I forget about my, I always use my baby blender for everything. Oh, but I yeah. like the immersion. I should use my immersion blender more. Oh, that, right. I think just, yeah, it's so, I think it's like so easy. It just makes life so much easier. Well, and here's just a little tip tip. I think the reason why I'm not using it is because I don't have that um, splash guard cup anymore. Oh. Like when I do it in a regular bowl, it splatters everywhere. <laughs> Ta da! Yeah. Um, hey, D a Diet Diva Tara just joined, and Marissa Moore. I guess they are oh, all Marissa. interested in making taco taco tacos with the author herself. <laughs> I'm down here. There you go. And there she is. I'm her head today. I'm, here we go. My body. Here, look it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Okay, so we have everybody who's just joined. We have roasted chickpeas, very basically seasoned. Um, uh, I bought an immersion blender years ago based on DJB telling me it's a must have. Yeah, I, you know what? I and I forgot about mine anyway. Um, <laughs> so now we have Greek yogurt in the bottom yeah. of your uh, splash guard cup. We do, and one clove of garlic. Okay, all I did was just peel it. This is cilantro, which Don, maybe you do this too, but you can just keep it like it's your favorite oh. house plant. With a little water that you switch out every once in a while. I've had this for like two weeks in my yeah, fridge. Something. Thank yeah. you for the reminder on keeping herbs like that. It, they last a million times more. My hubs, he was the one who started us doing that. I forgot because I was just rolling them as a burrito. I was like, roll your herbs like a burrito. Well, they don't last as long as if you keep them like that. Yeah. Second thing I want to point out to you, the fact that you already had that done in the magic of television, you pulled it in, shows that you're a real star. I mean, I'm a pro. <laughs> it shows you're a real star. That was amazing. <laughs> do you know what else makes me a pro? That I'm wearing my slippers while I do um, this show. That is good. And kneeling yeah. for half of the cooking. So I, I love that. Just hurt um, okay, you got a question from um, Marissa Moore. She says, fridge room temperature, I go back and forth. For the storing the cilantro? Yep. I keep it in the fridge because also what I'll do is I will cover it with a piece of plastic or I could use like a little tea towel. Uh, and then wrap it around. I, I, I think it keeps, I mean, it's cool here today in Chicago, but nor, you know, it's been kind of warm and I feel like the warmer water makes it start to go bad more quickly. So I'll keep it in the fridge. Okay. How do you feel about this advice? Wherever you buy it in the grocery store is how you should keep it in your house. That is so fancy, Don. Yeah. So that's, that's my rule of thumb. I it's like, like it. I usually, I feel like most of the time I buy herbs, they're in that like lightly refrigerated hummus section. So anyway. Yeah. Light refrigeration oh. is what I go with. Um, I all right. So right. we have uh, Greek yogurt. We have one clove of garlic. We have how much cilantro would you say? I'm going to go with like a half cup-ish. Okay. And do you use the stems or just the leaves? Things are falling. I use the stems, Don. Good point. Totally 100% usable. Tastes okay. just as delicious as the leaves. If not more so. Yeah. Waste not, want not, right? Then, I love this sauce, actually. I've never I know, right? This. Okay. I think part of the problem with people, who, when they hear the word sauce, they think it's something that's like super complicated and unapproachable, right? Like, oh, I'm not going to make a sauce. It's going to take me like, you know, 20 extra minutes. It's not. I tell people when I do my show, I'm like, it only takes me a long time because I'm trying to talk while I do it. Uh-huh. Good point. Okay. So that's like half a line. I have to okay. stand up to use my knife. And then this part's optional. This is a jalapeno. Come on, and don't make it optional, people. Get your <laughs> stuff together and start having a spicy, spicy life. I love I, when my, my mouth is burning. <laughs> <laughs> I like that challenge, don't you? <laughs> uh, hey, and just for you folks out there who care about my favorite kind of margarita, Ooh, here it is. I jalapeno care. margarita. <laughs> Thank that you. sounds good. <laughs> and thanks for the eyelash love. I, I, All right. I, I appreciate it. LOL, spicy indeed. LOL. Okay, so anyway. Heck yeah. Spicy. A little bit oh. of sea salt? Salt, yep. What was oh, that, like an eighth of a teaspoon? Eighth of a teaspoon. Okay. Some pepper. Okay. My, my uh, little sous chef is asking me for food. <laughs> Emily, snack it's coming. Is coming, girl. Here, have some commercial chickpeas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is called parenting and <laughs> I'll help you parent. I'm, I would be amazing. <laughs> that was it, by the way. Jalapeno, salt, garlic, uh, cilantro, Greek yogurt. This Lime is juice. awesome. Okay, okay, let's see it. Immersion blender. <laughs> so I'm using Greek yogurt. It's a little thicker. And then you can thin it with just a little bit of water if it's not working out for you. Yeah, that's uh, so good. Fresh, right? Sorry. Hey, we don't mind. All right. 
Assume Vitamix can be used. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, yes. it's such a little bit. I wonder if it would get stuck at the bottom of a Vitamix. I find that this thing cleans actually so well. If you take it off right away and get it right into the sink, you're golden. Now, yeah. if you wait all day and you're like, oh, I don't want to clean that, then you're going to I love that. So that's like a light green color. Yeah. Wow. This is, I mean, I will say this. Making that little extra effort of making the sauce does seem like it's fancy. What do you call that? Cilantro lime crema? Oh, that's that's fancy. Yes, crema. I like that. Let's call it that. that on restaurant menu, <laughs> crema or something. I always taste it because most people are like, they'll make something and they don't taste it, and I think that's oh. weird. Like, don't yeah. put something on your food if you haven't tasted it yet. That's Good weird. Point. Good point. Well, it's delicious. That's and so fun. You can refrigerate it for like up to a week. Okay. It is I spicy, like John. You'd love it. <laughs> spicy. Mama like it spicy. <laughs> okay. So here's my tortilla. I made, uh, if you want to see how to make those, I have them on my Instagram TV channel. So you can check oh, that out. I made these cool. a couple days ago. So this is a whole wheat tortilla. Okay. Right. I like it. Rock Girl says she's got to try that sauce. Love cilantro. Yeah. You got to, are you team cilantro, team not cilantro out there, right? Team cilantro. Team cilantro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think I didn't like it. And it, I was one of the people who thought it tasted like soap. And I just force fed it myself over and over and over. And now I love it. So anyway, I will like this. I will make myself like Tough it. Tough love, people. Tough love. <laughs> Could be a salad dressing. Oh, I like that idea of like maybe thinning it out with a little more water, a little more lime and making it a salad I've dressing. I've so done that. Pasta yeah. salad too, like you could toss it with pasta and like black beans and onions. Uh, I stuff. rarely can some... eat uh, pasta salad because I feel like it's from the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Every time I see pasta salad, I'm like, hello, the 80s are calling. <laughs> My husband loves pasta salad. <laughs> like, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so we do it for him. All right. Uh, yeah, I always use this as glue too, so you could just oh, kind of use it as you a You put little... the sauce at the bottom. I know, because like I said, it's like glue. I Especially it. if you've got something like roly poly, like a roasted oh chicken. Oh my gosh, yes. Dude. You can also that's, keep some. Uh, that's, I just, you're just like, oh, what's the big deal? That is a huge tip. That is oh. huge. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad yes. it's a huge tip. I'm freaking out. Sauce I have some, bottom. Yeah, well, you could also leave some of the chickpeas raw. And smash them down too into this, and then oh. top with the crunchy ones. Yeah, I like that. And more I of like a glue and a, a combination of uh, textures. Yes. So I would put way more than that. That's like the saddest amount of. You're like, okay, two <laughs> chickpeas for me. Two chickpeas for like, you. Like a baby serving. No, thank you. <laughs> Can't get enough of those. All right. Then I've got. Uh, so my other favorite thing are these pickled red onions, which you can also find on my uh, YouTube, no, Instagram, TV channel, showing yes. how to make them. So easy, they're just like the sauce. They take like two seconds and they're fabulous. I love it, I love it. I, I have to say that I am starting to be camp fermented red onions <laughs> as opposed to pickled, so we'll have to talk about that. Oh, but anyway, okay. I love them, I think they are fabulous. So easy too. Uh, so that's pickled and they're so pretty. Like look at that. Yeah, that's a gorgeous color. It's like hot pink. I mean, you know, right? I'm all about uh, hot pink AF. That's all I have to say. I love it. Uh, these, if you want more spice, these are. I, I'm addicted to these too. These are banana peppers. Oh, banana peppers. You know, like you that's see a pizza fun sometimes. Mix. Unpredictable, right? You're like, what is she? That's this is, this is why it's fun. When you yeah. have a stocked pantry and refrigerator with like random pickled things, like it can be really fun. All right, so we got that, and then of course we need a little green. So I have um, some lettuce here. This is just baby lettuce, and then you legit have like the most. That is beautiful. You have to take a picture of that and put that on this your first lady. I will. So it's. I think the that's just kind of a really simple. Like I said, it took me forever because I was talking and showing you the whole time, but. Literally, you can just throw stuff on a tortilla and eat it, and it can become a super nourishing, delicious meal. Like, I, fantastic. Oh, hold, 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 please. Take a bow. Take a bow. I mean, come on. Yes. <laughs> Girl, you know what? That is inspiring. And the thing is, is I, I'm telling you, I'm like, eh, I pretty much know everything about tacos. No, I didn't. <laughs> I feel like I have been inspired to make sauce because I was in the camp. I ain't going to make no sauce. I'm just going to buy it <laughs> no. because I cannot make a sauce. 
No, this is inspiring. I saw you do it in two seconds, put that all together. And I think it's going to elevate my taco to make it feel way more homemade, fresh, gourmet. Like, I love totally. that. I love the idea of both the uh, cooked garbanzo beans and the roasted garbanzo beans on there. Mm -hmm. I think that's fantastic. That's and then I, I think putting the sauce at the bottom is like genius because it's now I, I get it at every bite. So here's been my, yes. my classic struggle is like when I put the sauce on top, it's kind of like dripping out and everywhere. Putting it at everywhere. the bottom ensures mm -hmm. that every bite gets sauce. It's the only way to do it, really. I mean, if you think Who about it. <laughs> I've been living my life as a lie this all the time. What? I like to enlighten you. <laughs> I love this. Hey, I can't thank you enough. I mean, thank is there you. any other uh, taco wisdom you need to leave us with? Otherwise, I want to know if people want more at Cookin' RD, where should we go? And how do we get the book, Taco, Taco, Taco? Tell us all the things. Oh, this book. This book? <laughs> yes. Look at that. It's a beautiful, fun book. Thanks. That's so nice. Uh, so I primarily hang out on Instagram. It's just easier for me. So you can find, I started a TV channel. So I've just sort of been cooking in my kitchen and showing everybody how to cook what I cook. It's totally casual. I am not out to like change the world. I'm just trying to entertain you during some crazy times and maybe you'll learn something fun. Uh, so you can find me there. This book you can get on Amazon. Uh, you can get it anytime, any day. You just hit buy now and <laughs> put it in your cart. And I love it. You. Believe me, I think most of us are very familiar, too familiar with the Amazon purchases. Yes. That's one thing that's changed for me in quarantine and, you know, in the pandemic is like, I'm at least not buying something every single day from Amazon. I know. <laughs> there you I go. like to try to stop so, myself. Uh, I love it. So uh, author of Taco, 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 you can get Taco, Taco, Taco at Amazon. Yep. Um, and you hang out at Cookin RD on Instagram and really have started this. You're doing lots of things on IGTV, uh, but I really do appreciate that Sundays you're showing up and doing uh, Sundays with Sarah and uh, about four o'clock-ish uh, oh. Central Time. That's right. Love it. And me. Thanks, funny, Donna. She also, the rock girl says, funny and humble. I think that's a perfect way to, uh, to describe it. Very that's casual, like the best compliment but ever. like loaded with ideas. Thank you <laughs> so much for spending Cinco de Mayo and Taco Tuesday with us today. Thank you so much. This was, seriously, like I said it earlier, it was, this has been the most fun I've had in weeks. So. Oh my gosh. And thank you for coming so prepared to the Pantry Party Show because seeing the demo actually like, totally is inspiring talking about yeah. it is great but seeing it like yeah. showing it today that was like boo it was Excellent. amazing awesome love well you. i appreciate you wearing your beautiful outfit for me yes thank you thank you at cook rd yes i appreciate you Thanks bye bye hey that was another fabulous episode of the pantry party show with at cook and rd the author of taco 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 you can find taco 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 i love to say it you can find that book, Taco, 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 at uh, Amazon. And you can uh, learn more all about tacos and cooking. I like how she said casual cooking at Cookin RD. So uh, I got to tell you, though, I mean, how fun was that? We got so inspired. I could, I could have her on all the time making a million different tacos. Wouldn't that be fun? OMG. Well, I cannot thank you enough for joining the pantry party today uh, on Secret Demo and happy Taco Tuesday. Uh, we have another fabulous guest coming on tomorrow, the pantry party. So uh, if you're forgetting to join or you are needing to tell your friends, put it in your calendar, have alerts pop up, do what you can to show up to the pantry party show uh, because uh, this really is such an inspiring place to be with these guests, my goodness. So until tomorrow, sending you high immunity vibes, big love, and lots and lots of kisses. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining.